Intel announces a 1 trillion parameter AI. Meta announces an AI that can recognize over 4,000 languages. Bill Gates has comments on the field and much, much more. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the headline news and discussions you need in five minutes or less, although today I'm not quite sure we're going to hit that five-minute mark. There is so much going on in the world of AI, and we start with a new announcement from Intel around their Aurora generative AI model that is being trained on one trillion parameters. Now, interestingly, this comes at a time when many of the other companies are talking about how maybe the endless quest to have more parameters and larger data sets isn't necessarily what they need. Need, but Intel is going for some very specific use cases. In particular, Intel is thinking about the scientific applications of generative AI. So, for example, systems biology, cancer research, climate science, cosmology, polymer chemistry, and materials, and more. On yesterday's show, we talked about how AI had been used to discover a rare DNA sequence, and that's the type of use case that Intel is really focused on. Now, for a sense of comparison, that 1 trillion parameter data set would be about 5.7 times larger than the data set that underlies the currently available ChatGPT. And Intel says that Aurora will be trained specifically on general text, code, scientific texts, and structured scientific data from biology, chemistry, material science, physics, medicine, and other sources. Next up, speaking of really interesting models, Meta has announced their new massively multilingual speech AI. It is an AI that they say can recognize over 4,000 languages, which is 40 times more than any previously known technology. Meta says that this model could expand speech to text and text to speech from around 100 languages today to more than 1,100 going forward. In their announcement, they write, Many of the world's languages are in danger of disappearing, and the limitations of current speech recognition and generation technology will only accelerate this trend. We want to make it easier for people to access information and use devices in their preferred language. And today we're announcing a series of AI models that could help them do just that. As the MIT Technology Review points out, there are currently around 7,000 languages in the world, but speech recognition models only cover about 100 of them comprehensively. This new meta model was trained on audio recordings from thousands and thousands of languages of the New Testament Bible. Now, not everyone is a fan of training models on religious texts for the potential for bias, but by and large, researchers are excited about the possibilities in this new meta model. Now, even as we explore these new trillion parameter models, we're still figuring out the best way to actually train AI. A new research paper just came out called Lima, Less is More for Alignment. I asked the new X Papers plugin from ChatGPT to review the paper for me. And what it said is in the context of LLM training, there are roughly two stages, the unsupervised pre-training from raw text to learn general purpose representations, and then the large-scale instruction tuning and reinforcement learning to better align the end tasks and user preferences. The researchers introduced a 65 billion parameter model and did only an extremely limited amount of fine-tuning. Even with that limited amount of fine-tuning, they found that it was preferred to GPT-4 answers 43% of the time, and that number went up for BARD and other models. Their conclusion is that the vast majority of learning in LLMs comes in the pre-training, not the fine-tuning portion of the training. Moving on, one of the things we've been discussing a lot lately is what comes after the current crop of LLMs, and a lot of the focus is on multimodal models. Dr. Jim Fan from NVIDIA recently tweeted about this new model called Cody, Composable Diffusion. He tweets, mapping any mixture of modalities, text, image, video, and audio to any other mixture. GPT-4 is text image to text, but we will soon see a barrage of models that are increasingly versatile in the modality input and output. The example given is the combination of a prompt, teddy bear on a skateboard 4K, with a raining ambient sound that ends up producing an image of a video of a teddy bear in New York City rolling through the streets during a rainstorm. Moving on, AI is capturing the interest not just of us internet denizens, but some of the biggest and most influential people in the world. CNBC is reporting about comments from Bill Gates yesterday, where he said that AI could kill Google search and Amazon as we know them. Gates said that this technology is likely to radically alter human behavior. He said, whoever wins the personal agent, that's the big thing, because you will never go to a search site again. You will never go to a productivity site. You'll never go to Amazon again. He also said that personally, he'd be sad if Microsoft wasn't in the race. 
Speaking of Microsoft, Twitter has accused Microsoft officially of misusing its data, which many are seeing as the beginning of a much bigger fight over AI. This is something that Elon Musk had intimated over Twitter, but now there is an official letter from his lawyers as well. From NBC, the letter primarily addresses a seemingly narrow set of alleged infractions by Microsoft in drawing information from Twitter's database of tweets. But the move could foreshadow more serious developments. Musk has previously accused Microsoft and its partner OpenAI in a tweet of, quote, illegally using Twitter data to develop sophisticated AI systems such as ChatGPT. As we round the corner, an update on some commercially available AI software, Adobe Firefly is now available for all users with an Adobe ID. And not wanting Tesla Optimus to have all the fun, 1X, a company backed by OpenAI, has released a new set of videos of their robot Eve working in the real world. The videos show Eve grasping and picking up objects as well as opening a door. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. Tons and tons going on. And we didn't even get into yet the AI image of the Pentagon, which caused markets to have a hemorrhage yesterday. For that, stick around for the main AI Breakdown that will be coming soon. In the meantime, if you're enjoying the AI Breakdown or the AI Breakdown Brief, please like, subscribe, and share. And I will be back soon for the main AI Breakdown.